Electric family. And today we're going to talk about having a good reliable charger at home. And we're going to take a look at this shock flow charger. Unbox it because it is super important to have reliable fast charging at home. And we think this is a really great option. So this is the shock flow S1 EV charger and it can charge up to 48 amps if your service has that many amps in it. So let's take a look in the box and see what we've got. Some heavy duty mounting, mounting stuff it looks like. Tucked in nicely in styrofoam. And there it is. So pretty simple box contents. You've got the charger, the cords and everything are all attached. It is a J1772 connection. And then you've got your mounting hardware, your user guide, and then some cards, because if you have this out in a public place, you can use those to allow charging. All right, so now I'm gonna bring in the muscle to get this thing hung up on the wall, and then we'll give it a test. It's very clear which direction you hang it up. The unit itself hangs onto the mounting plate. There is a little dust cover on here so that it's covered up and protected when you're not using it, but you can also put it in here and this is probably blinking because we need to just reset it we've just plugged it in and oh now it's a slow blink <laughs> so there's a reset button so let's try resetting and then we'll take a peek all right we got blue cord straight out of the wrapping it's always so easy to manage all right so you can hang the cord over the top when you're not using it so it's out of the way and off the floor I know with our kids riding bikes and stuff, running over cords and everything, having it up off of the ground is really helpful. So this does have quick charging. So you can get up to 44 miles an hour under level two charging. So again, that depends on the power supply. We've got a 50 amp outlet here. Depending on how you plug this in or wire it up, will give you the number of amps that you can get. So if you hardwire it, you can get up to that 48 amps. And if you're just plugging it in, you'll get the 40 amps. You can also adjust the rate of charging. So from the 16 to 48 amps, all within the app that is available. So this was super easy to install. You can either put it into a stud or, you know, with the supplied hardware, you just mount that plate and then stick it up there. Just takes a few minutes to install, especially if you're just gonna plug it into a 50 amp. So if you can't plug your car in in the garage and this needs to be outside in your house, it is waterproof. It's been tested for low temperatures and high temperatures from negative 22 degrees Fahrenheit up to 122 degrees Fahrenheit. And they have done a 10,000 plug and pull test. So they've put it into the charging outlet on your the charger on the car and plugged it in and taken it out 10,000 times and it is still held up. So they have really good quality materials. I'll definitely allow it to send us notifications. And it looks like we need to add a new device and we're gonna have to sign up real quick. All right, so we've got a charging station, needs to use Bluetooth. Found that quickly. It beeped over here telling us that it's going. Now I got to get it set up on Wi-Fi. Shows all of the info. It says, please connect to the car. It looks like you do have a charge history on there. Under settings, plug to play. So charger share. So you can set up if you want to share that with somebody. Set it up for your electrical bill. You have your product manual all right here. So that is pretty nice. So let's plug it in and see what happens. All right, it's flashing over there. So on the app, once you've start charging and if you have a uh, plug and play on, it'll just plug in and start charging immediately. But to adjust things, you do have to have the car plugged in, but the charging stopped. Then you can adjust your amps and you can actually like adjust it to the exact amp that you want. So we'll do the 40 amp. And then if you go in and you click on the little clock next to it, you can set a timer. You can set it to repeat. So every day of the week, when you wanna charge or when you don't, how long you want it to charge, or you can just set it to start at a certain time and then it'll start. But we just want it to start now. So we'll go ahead and push the button and get it started charging. And then you can see 
Once it gets up and going, it'll give you how many kilowatt hours have gone through, the voltage, the current, and the duration. It'll give you the current temp, and then if you click on the cost, you can set the cost, the energy in your location, uh, so that you can get accurate costs for your energy usage. Let's take a look in the car. So the car is showing nine kilowatts. If we look on here, we're at 38 amps, cranking right along, and there you can see all the information going. We've been charging for about two minutes now. All right, so there you go. And one thing we did discover is that if you make an adjustment to the amps through the app, once you make that adjustment, when you plug your car in the next time, it's gonna keep it at that amp um, as long as you don't cut power to the unit. So as long as you don't unplug it or reset it or whatnot, it's gonna hold those amps for you in the app. It is also super nice that you are able to check the status of the charge and control the charging all through the app. So, you know, if you're in bed at night and you wanted to stop the charge, you can do that, which is really awesome. So if you want to get one of these Shock Flow S1 home chargers for yourself, we'll put a link in the description below. So be sure to check that out. And if you have any questions about it, Drop us a question down in the comments and we'll see you guys in the next video.